This is my review of My Hero Academia. Okay, so this episode was mainly a character building moment for Ida because he's now needs to learn how to become a hero and it's also a bit of a character building moment for Todoroki who is now actually taking full advantage of his full power now because of what um, Deku said to him previously. So in this episode, a bunch of Nomu's attack and Deku quickly realizes that there's a bunch of chaos and goes looking for Ida to make sure he's all right. At which point he finds out that Ida ran off on his own and uses his previous knowledge of how Stain's operandi worked to locate Stain. And while he's doing that, he Stain and Ida get into a brief scuffle in which Stain reigns victorious and is planning to kill Ida and belittles him on how to be a hero because Ida states that he's going that he's pursuing Stain purely out of revenge and not because he wanted to help somebody and then Stain gestures to Native and points out that he should have saved him first and that pursuing heroics for the sake of you, of yourself is the furthest thing from what a hero should be and just before he delivers the finishing blow on Ida and after using his quirk to paralyze him Deku shows up and delivers a smash to his face and point and then decides to defend Ida and, and call, also signals for backup while he waits for somebody to arrive so he call, so he uses a, a, his phone to text the location to some of his classmates although Todoroki is eventually the only one who shows up but but during their brief scuffle between the two of them um, Stain realizes that Deku is the kind of hero he's hoping to create and decides to spare him. But that, but then Todoroki shows up and tr gets everybody to safety using his ice and then uses a combination of ice and fire to try and keep um, Stain off his game while at the same time revealing that the pros will arrive soon which winds up backing Stain to a corner because now he realizes that there's going to be a time limit and eventually a bunch of pros are going to arrive and, to, and he won't be able to handle all that many heroes at once. So, which is the main reason why he operates in the middle of a shady alley, because he knows that he can't take on multiple heroes at once, and he's probably going to wind up getting his ass handed to him if he tries. So, af afterward, after he, he realizes this, um, Deku starts to reveal just how his quirk kind of works, and that he can paralyze him if he gets too close. And is able to deliver a cut and Todoroki realizes this and keeps staying at bay and at one point is cut is gravely injured and then eventually Deku gets up and they figure out how his quirk works and it's apparently tied to blood type and then sure enough we get a little preview of how his quirk works and it's apparently called blood curdle which works depending on what the blood type is with Type O being the shortest and Type B being the longest. And Izuku being Type O gets up first, whereas Native and Ida are still paralyzed because they are Type B and Type A, respectively. So they take a bit longer to get back up. So eventually they realize this, and Todoroki and Deku team up to try and keep Stain away from the injured heroes so that he they can actually try and keep him on his off his toes. But then they realize that he's completely changed up his fighting style and isn't really cooperating all that well. And and throughout all of this, Todoroki tries to remind Ida what it means to be a hero and how that he should be worthy of the name and not try to and try to actually live up to the president his brother actually set for him. So and that's what causes Ida to eventually try to get up and move. So it's clear that Ida is now realizing what it means to be a hero because throughout this entire time. He's been like, this fight has nothing to do with you. Don't bother me. And then don't get involved in all that. And then and then Deku tells him that meddling when you don't need to is the essence of being a hero, which is what causes Stain to realize that Deku might be one of the heroes that he should spare. And so and so he tries, but then Deku gets involved and attacks him again. So it's clear it's clear that Stain now has a newfound respect for Deku, even though he even though he wasn't able to really do much on his own. And he realizes that 
Deku is the kind of hero he's hoping to create, which is probably going to come back as a later plot point, if I had to guess. But we'll see. But yeah, also, the reason Todoroki was there was because Endeavor realized that um, Hosu City might still be the place where Stain is operating out of and went there to try and find him. And the main reason, and that the main reason Todoroki tried to band together with his father was because he, of his conversation with his mother, who forgave him and realized what kind of hero he wanted to be. So, clearly Todoroki is starting to become a hero in his own right and wants to try and become, see what it's like to be the number two hero. Because he realizes that while his father isn't the best person, he is a pretty good hero to boot. So, it's clear that Todoroki is starting to have a, not so much a change of heart about his old man, but rather is trying to see him as a hero rather than as a father. Because he's a crappy father. But, yeah, that's mainly what happened. So... So, Totoro, so now Ida is realizing that he needs to try and step up and actually be the hero he, his brother wants him to be so that he can actually live up to the name Ingenium. So, yeah, that's mainly it. So if you guys have seen this episode and thought it was good, I did, then what did you guys think? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server, link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below if you guys do want to keep up with what's going on with the channel because I post updates over there and that's important that you guys see them. And also, if you guys want to help support the channel, then be sure to check out my Patreon. It's only a couple bucks a month and it really helps me out. So I would definitely appreciate it if you did that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!